Okay, yes, you can see me. Yes, I'm about to leave now. There's my back. Let me put it up. There's a map of the world. Well, of the Earth, I mean. And the world also. The borders of countries. South Sudan is in it, as you can see. It's an old map. About 7 billion human beings are there on this planet. And um, I want to give you a very firm warning. I mean it. Um, I'm not joking here. There, you, if you will not, you're not living for a thousand years on this earth. 120 years old is the limit that the God, that the, that the Lord God has made for mankind. You can read it in Genesis 6. So, yes, you can become 120. Unfortunately, many people only become 70 or 80 years old, though the circumstances and bad choices. But in the, that 120 lifespan, some only live 70 or 80. Anyway, during your lifespan here on Earth, you will not encounter millions of peoples. Because that's not possible in that, sh that short uh, time span. You won't. But you don't need to. Because human beings are human beings. They all need to eat and drink. They all need sunlight and all need to breathe or else they'll die. Okay? So human beings have things in common. However, unsafe human beings, those that aren't born again, they have more in common. And one thing that unsafe people of, uh, have in common is that they will not, most of the time, they will not admit that they are afraid. Either they'll hide their fear behind becoming angry, having a temper, or they'll hide their fear behind addictions. They get, they give themselves completely, completely over to drugs, alcohol, sexual promiscuity, or they, you know, fill their lives with activities, they are workaholics, and they study all the time, they have a lot of ambition. But all, all of that, there is fear. They are afraid. And you see, rock stars and people who are living life to the full as they claim it, they don't think about tomorrow, they don't care about anything, they just having their time of their lives, they just indulge themselves completely completely into pleasures. They're also afraid. Unbelievers are quite are quite proud. They will not admit when they feel afraid. Why? Because behind that fear is a lie. As I mentioned, as I you know, as I explained in my previous video, behind every fear there is a lie. And fear is a fear is a demonic spirit. Okay? So unbelievers are attached to demonic spirits and behind the, the, those demons of fear there is a lie. So you see? And that lie basically is hides an idol. So that lie is covering an idol that they worship. So they have their idols that they cover with lies to protect themselves and now those idols attract demonic spirits, also the spirit of fear, and that's why unbelievers are afraid. The biggest fear they have is the fear of death. Anyway, unbelievers will, unbelievers will not... I mean it, I'm going to repeat it, some will find it annoying, but this need to get through to you. Unbelievers are walking in fear all the days of their lives. They will not admit it because if they admit their fear, then they have to explain what they are afraid of, and then their idols are being exposed. And one thing you need to understand, unbelievers don't like their idols being exposed because the, those idols, those mental constructions are, are all they have. So they don't want to deal with that inner conflict. So the most easiest way for unbelievers to get relief from... from um, how do you have to say it? To get the relief from emotional pain is temporary relief. It's not, this is not absolute relief, but 
unbelievers get an emotional, a temporal emotional relief of emotional pain by blaming someone else. Governments, institutions, they all do it. The common people also do it. They don't want to deal with their inner conflict, so they, the fear they feel, they displace it on someone else and they blame someone else for that fear. Islamophobia is one big example of this example. A lot of white folks, as they call them, people from Western Europe and America with a white skin, they feel threatened because their idols are being exposed and their, their communities are falling apart. And they don't want to deal with that reality. They want to hold on to the idol that they are advanced, that they are superior. But no, the idol is exposed and their communities are falling. So the fear they're experiencing now, they blame the cause of that fear on someone else. And that someone else are Muslims. Yes, there are Muslim extremists, and yes, there is a demonic you know, nature behind Islam. However, they cannot pretend, they cannot seriously think that it's the Muslims. It's the, it's the Muslim immigrants that destroyed Europe and America. Yet there are many white folks that go after this and really believe that. Why? Because they don't want to deal with the reality that their communities are falling apart due to their pride. <sighs> folks, it's very easy. And I didn't intend to make a video about Islamophobia, but Islamophobia is the best example I could think of to, to, to show this. Unbelievers, they blame others for the cause of their downfall. And they do this with Christians all the time. All the time. So remember this when you're dealing with an unbeliever. Yes, they are human beings just like you, but they're not the same. They don't have the Holy Spirit in them. They only have temporary relief of emotional pain. Emotional pain is caused by their idols and by others around them that hurts them. Instead of giving themselves over to Christ, they hold on to those idols and they hold on to those abusive relationships and the only way they can have relief from time to time is by blaming someone else. So, remember that when you're dealing with unbelievers. Um, well, I'm leaving now, and um, prob I hope forever from this place. May the grace of Jesus Christ be with you.